गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ मिली सांखला एंड सब्जेक्ट ऑफ डिजाइन ऑफ प्रेस्टिज कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर वी सॉल्व अवर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी रीड द डेटा सपोर्ट सेक्शन ऑफ प्रेस्टिज कॉन्क्रीट बीम 100 एम एम विथ एंड टू फिफ्टी एम एम डेप इज रिक्वायर टू सपोर्ट ऑन अल्टीमेट श्योर फोर्स ऑफ एटी किलो न्यूटन कंप्रेसिव प्रेस्टिज एट सेंट्रोड एक्सिस इज फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर एंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक क्यूब स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट इज फोर्टी न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर कवर टू रेनफोर्समेंट इज फिफ्टी एम एम एंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक टेंसन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ स्टीरअप इज फोर वन फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर डिजाइन अ शेयर एनफोर्समेंट इन सेक्शन नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर आई एस वन थ्री फोर थी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व पेज नंबर थर्टी टू शेयर रजिस्टेंस ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट वी सी इज पॉइंट सिक्सटी सेवन बी डी अंडर रूट ऑफ एफ टी स्क्वायर प्लस पॉइंट एट एफ सी पी इंटू एफ टी एफ सी के इज गिवन इन डेटा दैट इज फोर्टी न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर एफ सी पी इज गिवन फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर ओके नाउ विथ बी इज गिवन हंड्रेड एम एम डेफ डी इज गिवन टू फिफ्टी एम एम एंड वी इज गिवन सिक्सटी किलो न्यूटन ओके इज गिवन इन अवर डेटा नाउ put the values of vc 0.67 b is 100 t is equal to 250 then ft is according to this equation 0.24 under root of fck 0.24 under root of fck 40 that is 1.517 newton per mm square put here 0.8 then fcp is equal to 5 and 1.517 square Okay, and after solving this, we get forty-eight point forty-one kilo newton. Then D is equal to two fifty minus fifty is equal to two hundred mm. Okay, because your reinforcement cover is provided fifty mm, so subtract it, and effective depth we get two hundred mm. Now, balance here is equal to V minus V C. V is equal to sixty. And VC forty-eight point eight. Okay, look at this. This forty-eight is uh, we find out. Put this value, and net we find out eleven point six kilonewton. Now using six mm diameter two leg rest stirrups, first spacing is obtained. S spacing is equal to point eighty-seven fy. ASV D divided by balance net balance V minus VC. 2 into 28.2, then 0.87, 250fy, and d we find out 200. And after that we find the spacing that is 211.5 mm. Now maximum permissible spacing is given in code that is 0.75 d, 150 mm, and adopt 6 mm diameter two leg rest stirrups at 150 mm center. Okay, now. we start with our new topic that is horizontal shear strength in composite construction for shear strength full transfer of horizontal shear force has to be assumed at contact surface of interconnected element at service load level maximum horizontal shear stress is vh can be evaluated from the basic principle of mechanics and the equation is vh is equal to vq divided by ic into bv what is v v is equal to unfactored design vertical shear acting on composite section and q is equal to moment of area about cgc of segment about or below the cgc level ic is equal to moment of inertia of composite section and bv is equal to contact width of precast section web Or width of section at horizontal shear being calculated. Calculated. Okay. Now V H is equal to V divided by B V into D P C. What is D P C? D P C is the effective depth from extreme compression fiber of composite section to the centroid of C G S of pre-stressing reinforcement. according to ultimate load level method first is our direct method to find out horizontal shear strength of composite fibers factor load vu be substituted for v2 give okay here we factor load vu h is equal to vu bv dpc simply here we find out ultimate 
method according to ultimate method so vuh is equal to vu divided by bv then effective depth of pre-stressing steel or in term of nominal vertical shear strength we find v and v is equal to here we put vu by phi and bv dpc then vn divided by bv dpc this will be in the term of nominal vertical shear strength where phi is equal to 0.75 if nominal shear stress is a nominal horizontal shear strength then vu less than vnh and total nominal shear strength is write down in form of vnh bv dpc when no vertical ties are provided but contact surface of precast element is intentionally roughed use then vnh less than equal to 80 ac less than equal to 80 bv dpc okay where ac is equal to area of concrete resist the shear and this area is bv into dpc dpc mean critical depth of pre-stressing steel when minimum vertical ties are provided then av area of stirrups is equal to 50 into bw into s divided by fi but the contact surface of precast element is not rough to use okay so vnh less than equal to 80 bv dpc okay this one is the condition for nominal horizontal shear strength with respect to uh, reinforcement okay now if contact surface of precast element is rough to full amplitude of 1 4 inch and minimum vertical steels in uh, provided then vnh less than equal to 500 bv dpc and if factor shear vu is greater than 5 500 bv dp the shear friction theory can be used to design the double reinforcement in this case all horizontal shear has to be taken tie in the perpendicular plane such as vnh is equal to u mu avf and fyt now we understand the full form what is avf avf is the area of shear friction the reinforcement fy is the design unit of strength u mu is equal to coefficient of friction and delta is equal to factor for type of concrete okay now we solve the example of horizontal shear strength first we read the data a precast p tension rib of 150 mm width and 300 mm depth is to be connected to an m25 grade cast in situ concrete slab 400 mm width and 50 mm thick estimate the unit shear force which will be cause separation of two element if the surface is washed to remove latents without link with horizontal shear stress 4.7 newton per mm square and if the contact surface is rough and tampered with no nominal link with horizontal shear stress 1.8 newton per mm square as an e for young's modulus for precast and cast in situ concrete are equal flange 400 by 50 that is cast in situ and the precast time is our wrap portion that is 300 by 150 okay now first of all area of this cast in situ slab 450 20,000 and width of rib of precast stem is 150 now we find out yt for our composite section that means flange 400 into 50 then 25 and wrap 100 into 300 and 200 Divide by our area, we get 146.15 mm. Moment of inertia according to our parallaxis theorem, Ig plus A square, Ig plus A square, we get 765.71 10 to 6 mm raised to 4. Now, y bar, that means our yb is equal to distance of uh, centered of cast in situ slab from centered of composite section. We find 146.15 mm minus 25 okay look at this this one is from this distance to this distance okay and that is we get 121.15 mm now we found two shear stresses without link and with link first one is the without link 
horizontal shear stress is given 0.7 newton per mm square and tau h is equal to vu a y bar divided by ib this one is the equation of shear stress now we find out ultimate shear force tau h ib divided by a y bar 0.7 is given in data then i 765.75 times to 6 b that is width of web 150 area 20000 and y bar is equal to 121.50 and vu we get 33.18 kN. Now with link tau h is given 1.8 vu is equal to tau h into i into b and a y bar tau h then inertia then with b and from this with link our ultimate shear, stra uh, shear force is 85.32 kN. Okay. Here in both condition without link we get lower shear force compared to with link. Now we stop here. In next session we start with our new topic. Okay.